Um, so, um, so we're going to audio and video record all of these uh, webinars in this mini series. So if you prefer not to be on screen, um, feel free to disable your video and you can still listen and, um, and ask questions at the end. Um, so without further ado, I'd like to welcome Caitlin Simon, who is an oboist and a former cultural partner who I met through our partnership with the Garfield's Chamber Orchestra a couple of years ago. Um, and she and I have kept in touch. Um, I have a soft spot for the oboe because I, I learned it in high school. Um, so she's been warm and generous enough uh, for me to uh, kind of hear her perform a couple of times. And now we have her uh, to share her talents with us today. Um, she is going to be performing a selection of classical pieces and a couple of pieces from the American Songbook. And so I hope you enjoy this um, short period of music and please do um, let us know if you have questions or comments at the end. So thank you very much, Caitlin. Thank you so much, Meredith. And hello, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for being here. It's really lovely to, to spend some time with, here, with you here today. Um, and, and thank you so much to Karen Kind for having me on this fantastic webinar. So I'm going to play some pieces for you today on the oboe. And this is an instrument that you find in the orchestra. And maybe its most unique feature is that it's a, a double reed instrument, which means that the mouthpiece here is a couple of very small pieces of wood tied together. And this is a handmade mouthpiece um, called a reed. And on its own, it sounds like this. Um, so just a little background there. So I'm gonna play a few different pieces for you today. Um, the first one is by the 20th century composer, Benjamin Britten, and it's called The Metamorphoses after Ovid. And Ovid was a, a Roman poet. And this is a really col colorful work that's written for solo oboe. Uh, it's really evocative of nature, and um, I really enjoy the imagery. So each of these two pieces is going to kind of paint for you uh, the, the scene of a, of a myth. And the first myth is the Greek god Pan, who, is, who has been uh, chasing a wood nymph through the woods, the, the nymph Syrix, and um, to get away from Pan, Syrinx has just turned herself into a bunch of reeds by the river. And Pan takes these reeds and makes a flute and plays this melody. Um, the second piece of the Metamorphoses is uh, Bacchus, who is the Roman god of wine. And this piece is all about a party that is just a little bit out of control. And you hear all kinds of fun things in this music, including at the end, um, I think you hear somebody try to dance on a table, is what it sounds like to me. Um, possibly some hiccups <laughs> as a result of overindulgence. Um, so uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, these pieces, the, the Metamorphoses by Britain. Each piece has a very short introduction, which I'll read for you. So this is Pan, who played upon the reed pipe, which was Syrinx, his beloved.
this is Bacchus, at whose feasts is heard the noise of gaggling women's tattling tongues and shouting of toys. Thank you so much. I see everyone waving. So the next thing I'm going to play for you um, is a piece by Bach. And uh, Bach is one of my very favorite composers. And um, he wrote so well and so beautifully for the oboe, especially. Um, you know, in talking with a lot of my musician friends, a lot of us really turn to Bach um, for comfort. Um, for ourselves, but also to to keep our skills sharp, because uh, Bach is such a masterful composer. It's always very demanding to play. Um, so the piece I'm going to play for you was actually originally written for the flute. It's part of the Partita in A minor, and I'm going to play um, a one movement um, called the Sarabande, which is a, a slow Baroque dance. So I hope you enjoy.
Thank you. Thank you so much. So I want to thank everyone again for, for joining us today. And I'm going to close my little set with a set of three American ballads, songs that I just find uplifting and beautiful. And uh, the first is called You Are Too Beautiful by Rogers and Hart. The second is Smile by Charlie Chaplin. And I'm going to end with Look for the Silver Lining. And I hope if you feel so compelled that you'll sing along with me at, at any point. So thanks again for being here.
river somewhere. Sun is shining, and so the right thing to do to make it shine for you will heart full of joy and gladness. Will always banish sadness and strife. So always look for the silver lining. And try to find the sunny side of life. Thank you so much. So much, Caitlin. That was so wonderful. If you'd like to give Caitlin a, an audio applause, please unmute yourself. <laughs> I think she really deserves it. I'm, unfortunately, I'm not able to unmute you. But, um, Thank you so much for joining us, Caitlin. This was wonderful. Absolutely. Yay, <laughs> bravo. Thank you. I wanted to ask you. All right, Caitlin. That's great. And may I try to unmute? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great. We really appreciate oh. the audience members. Thank you. This is wonderful. Caitlin, again, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your wonderful uh, oboe skills with us. Um, it was a great selection of music. A special term. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, kind of a little bit of everything. Um, does anyone have questions or comments for Caitlin or for me? I just wrote one, but I don't know how to send it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to open it. <laughs> <laughs> I have some, actually. Many of you have made comments. Uh, you have uh, Philip says, that was so wonderful. Jouet says that was beautiful. Clap, clap, clap. Um, thank you. Beautiful. Lots of thank yous, Caitlin. Uh, wonderful music selections. Appreciate it. I think we're all, we're all in agreement. Uh, this, this was a nice way to spend at least a half an hour, 20 minutes on a quite nice Monday afternoon. Um, so if none of you have any other questions or comments, I just wanted to close out. Uh, by saying thank you again for joining us. This is one of a, a few more programs that Connect to Culture will do through this webinar at the same time, Mondays at one o'clock an hour. Um, I hope you look at our schedule um, and I'll give you a, a quick summary before we go. Um, but please do join us again. Uh, we do have a lot of our cultural partners have um, been generous enough to share their um, their digital resources with us, and of course, for performing artists who are joining us. Um, so if you want to sign up for this, then again, um, contact our helpline at 646-744-2900 to register. Um, and I hope you do, because that's really um, a great way to hear about upcoming programs via email. Um, so just a quick shout out for the upcoming programs uh, next Monday, the 15th, we'll have uh, Carrie McGee from MoMA talk about the programs. Uh, then actually the following week on the 22nd, we have a dance teaching artist who will do uh, a couple of um, movement exercises with us. Um, and then on the 29th, we'll have Elizabeth Gronke from the American Folk Art Museum. And I'm hoping to have someone from the Met Museum on July 6th, right after the holiday. Um, they're in the process of trying to decide whether they're going to open or not in July, possibly August. So stay tuned for that. But thank you again so much for joining us and another round of applause for Caitlin. Thank you. It's truly my pleasure to be here with you today. Thank you all. And I hope to see many of you back soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.